What's up here? As I got a new microphone, so put them up going is out. Today we're gonna go. We're gonna jump right into it, um, and then I'll talk a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, I call it our hero stream. It's a go-to workout. It's gonna be about thirty minutes. Don't get wakes up, but it's gonna go over the format of most of our workouts, and that way you can have a go-to nice little thirty-minute workout. We're gonna start off with our final up. That's our warm up. And we're going to go into our ability checks. This is the format for all of our classes. We have a dex check, dexterity check to work on our ability to move. So that's either going to be a balance, coordination, or speed. Then we got our strength check. In general, that's going to be uh, sort of flow strength, which should be slower and points and kind of test the muscles in lots of way. Then we have our uh, sort of like weightlifting, that's going to be very traditional strength training, weights, resistance, body weight, all those things. And lastly, we have apply, and then there's plyometrics for strength, which is going to be explosive. That's what it is, it's being kettlebells, doing jumps, or working fast with strength. Then we finish off with our constitution or conditioning check. That's going to work our like cardio, our hearts, our lungs. And that's going to go from endurance, so a bit like longer pace, to heavy car, or and usually it's going to be listed as combat, so it's a little different. But that's going to be more with like using weights, doing harder moves, or like carrying things. Finally, we have our hit training. That's going to be high intensity interval, classic. That's enough talking. Let's jump in. So we're going to start off with our armor up. For about five minutes, but first, uh, oh, and I'm going to be playing on adventure mode, so I'm going to have a race surface. What equipment are you going to need today? Are you in the adventure? You want something to stand up and kind of use for the balance, or bring the ground up. If you want to use uh, weights, I'm going to demonstrate this perception. I'm going to use some lighter dumbbells and then some heavier dumbbells. That's like that. And then that's all I really need. So let's get it. First, just standing. Breaths and we go into our armor up. Exhale. Inhale, fill up that lower belly. Exhale. Or hip. Exhale. First off, you pull the body straight. One leg forward, back. Nice, good lunge stretch. Quite a back stretch. Now, I'm going to talk about this in a bunch of other stuff, but I want you to talk to your pelvis. Stretch the knee, that should activate the core, get your quads here. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to lean forward, you're going to stick your butt out, and then straight, maybe straight your neck front leg a bit, but never lock it out. Always have a slight bend of it. You really think about sticking your butt out. Forward and rock and roll to those, to those two. A time. Good. Switch sides. Half stretch. Butt. Then. Butt out. Down. Up. And down. Good. Now we're going to go side to side. So you can really support one. Then we're going to look for an inner thigh stretch. Again, so the armor up, the idea is that this is our, like, this is like our way to check into their body. So we're going to see how we're feeling one more time. Good. Now for, uh, for I call these step overs, so a bounce, but you're just going to lift them up. So you can step over. Yep. Excellent. Nice. After you go through this way, or on the side, go the opposite direction. Oh. Uh. Uh. Okay. Next. Let's get into the upper body. So we're going to inhale, open wide. Exhale, and round. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, and round. Last time, inhale, open up. Exhale and wrap. Good. 
the why we're going to be doing side by side. So again, we're starting off with this armor up. It's about five, six minutes. It's a great way to start your day. It was okay, you're going to lose overhead. And it really does take you through like all the little ways you And not twist it. Uh, sometimes I call this a swim. Well, you can think about like almost like a dagger. Uh, it's kind of nice, like throwing the ball a little bit different from the shoulders. Three, two, one, good. All right, now let's get into a little bit more of a warm up one. So, high knees, start off with marching. The way this works is it kind of goes. So it goes between stretching. Now we're going to be kind of like more, it's called dynamic stretching, but warming up. Good. Let's go, kicks. Good morning. Now, if this feels good, we're going to go for a job. Three, two, one. Good. Butt kicks. So, send those butt back. Oh, let's hit it. That's the feet back. March it out first. Now we're going to do what I call skateboarding. So if you like, you can grab something to bounce on. Otherwise, you're just going to kick. Four, five, good, switch sides. Three, four, five, good. Now if it feels good, either fast march or jog it. Let's go side to side. So, first we just do a little step touch. And now we're going to do that sort of like the skateboard, but sideways. So, again, feel free to grab something to bounce. Bubble is just swinging the leg in front, working that kind of vertical and it's floating the leg. Hopefully, we can start to get a little bit of sides. As you get stronger with it, or two. Keep it. Good. We have dynamic with the legs, it's kind of the upper body. So this one is basically like uh, almost like an agile touch sword. So I'm going to set up. I'm going to have one leg front, one leg back. First, we just shift that weight. I'll bring your arms in. So I'm going to, it's almost like I'm Busting with the sword, or shoving, or shooting command there, whatever you want to do. Oh, if you do have a light weight, you want to go in, and also in the other direction. Now we're going to put it like a baseball bat swing. So we're going to up, and but notice how slow, or how not slow, but how close I'm getting. Don't do this. Big round swing that throws your back out nice and tight. I'm coming to about where my knee is. It's like if you want to imagine the target, you're chopping down, the ball you're hitting, that's where you're making contact. Good. Switch sides. Actually, you can have to switch it up. Now we're going to do like a slash. So, go sideways first. Below, I'm going to keep my hip, my back hip. It's going to power through as I slash up, and then it's going to yank myself down as I slash down. So, slow motion. And as you get more and more comfortable, you can do that. Other way. So, again, the hips, the legs generate the power. Pull my core up, my arms out as I target, and then I slash it down. It's like that, it was just classic uh, art of games or anything really where you can knock it yourself. It was good, let's it up. Good. Alright, there is our armor up. Now let's get into our next chat. For today, this is kind of a spitball or uh, addition, but we're going to do some yoga. Uh, kind of this yoga kind of 
get all three of those. Not so much speed today, but again, this is your like, like go to for your So, let's get into it. Or next gen. This first going to use the surface, I have that in front of me. I'm going to use the ground. I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of the yoga on the ground. Just so you can see sort of like more traditional or like what you mostly see in workout classes or yoga classes. But otherwise. Right? <laughs> Morning, Tetsu. Is that, I don't know if I'm saying that. Alright, that's it. So, forward, you got five minutes on the clock. Inhale, reach up. If that feels good, exhale, fold, and you hold on. Same thing as that. One of my teaching one of my favorite stretches. So, it's, I call it the sink stretch because you want to sink your feet on it, but you're going to sit in the stand so you are in the tiniest point. You bend your knees, you can your hips back, pressing up the If it hurts the shoulders, you're going to bend your elbows. But if it feels good, you want to stretch, you want to lengthen those arms. You really try to keep your elbows from spraying out, pull them in. You want to think about this action. Right, from here, I can bend and straighten my legs. I can shift my hips side to side. This is really what downward dog should feel like. Now, for most of us it doesn't, because that's actually kind of hard position. But, if you feel like you're hanging out, you should feel a stretch your leg, roll back, and the shoulder. Then you'll come up, feel like fine, go on the couch, go through the other side. Then you can these hips down, back, good, roll up, Back, hold for a second, and get it up. One last time. Good. Inhale up, one leg forward, one leg back. We're going to inhale, either hold here and look. Tug that pelvis, don't feel this in low back, should feel the front of the legs. Not feeling the front of the legs. Really think about pulling your core in. Squeezing your butt. Maybe reach up and then down, fold that leg. Very similar to what we did in the arm. Inhale. Yeah. Oh. Exhale. Fold. Yeah. One last time. Yeah. Exhale. Fold. Yeah, we all need to do this. That's, that's, that's why it's part of the game. Um, uh, switch legs. We got one leg back. Again, if it's really thinking about that top in the pelvis, it's like uh, if you had headlights on, you're trying to turn them up. You almost feel like you're in a world's like small crunch. That leg is straight as feels good. And especially if you have a balance support, you lay down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, either with or on my knee. Pump one out and stretch that leg. One more time. Up. Exhale, come down. Good. Back together, step wide. Let's take our arms so we're going to go a little bit of a squat. Uh, you can take my bird wings, but you're going to pump one to the other. Inhale, reach down and along the body. Exhale, bring it together. Inhale out to our shoulders. Exhale, bring it together. Inhale, drawing those elbows, open it up and bring it in. Okay. That felt good. You want to go higher. You're going to inhale, reach out to the shoulder height. Exhale, bring it up. Palms back, down. And then now elbows come into shoulder height. Roll it up. Good. Inhale, 
in the order of Kiana. Exhale, fold. Go up halfway. Exhale, fold. Feel that good stretch as you walk it side to side. Inhale, up. Like the last little bit, we should do about one foot balance for our last little bit of this next. So if that's a uh, challenge, uh, you can't that toes. Now even doing this, fully supported touch, my ankle is still doing a bunch of times. Besides the three. One switch. Because the ankle has to work on stability and your foot arms are off the knees. As I get more comfortable with it, I can start to have that. Along most of different ways. First level, I call the compass box. Forward, back, high. Right, this is something we'll do a lot in uh, starting off on. And good. There's our little dex check, a little stretching, a little warm up. Now let's get into our strength check. We're going to be doing, um, I call it the weapons check, and we're going to go through the three levels of combat. Combat and cardio slash travel has sort of three intensities. For combat or the uh, weapons, they flow, full combat, heavy combat, and power combat. So we're going to go through that right now. If you want to use weights, feel free to grab, I would recommend light weights at first, or just go with uh, body weight this first time, if it is your first time. I'm going to throw, I got a pair of tens. It's a little heavy for the light weights, but um, it'll work. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a minute of Nice, you see the intensity of the uh, uh, little sprain ankle. Uh, so I sprained this ankle in uh, high school and you can definitely see, or it definitely affects my balance still. Uh, even small simple sprain ankle is a last one. All right, so we got a minute on the clock. We're going to go with flow, just follow along with me, and we're going to go All right, so for flow strength, for flow combat, one of the things slow and smooth. It's almost like you're casting magic or fighting in slow motion, and the challenge is about almost like bigger, longer, slower motion. Uh, over time, you can start to spin that, spin that up. You almost want to feel like you're doing a tight change on the back end of the weights. So that can be a little bit faster, but it can also be nice and slow to control. What's cool about this is people start off and they're like, all right, I kind of feel it. But then over time, because the muscles are working for a while, surprising how long holding weights and moving them for a minute. Yeah, just like my 10 more seconds. Three, one, heavy combat. So now you're just going to do classic sort of stuff. Dusts, curls, curl, bunch. But again, these are lighter weights for me. That's why they're easier to get out higher. The next round, I'm going to grab about 30 to 35 pound weights to see how. I don't know if you say lose. Now we're going to go to power. Bomb that. 10 seconds. You're just going to rock it out. Three, one. Let's go punch it. Pop, 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 pop. Knock it out. Three, two, one. Boom. All right, so there's power combat. All right, uh, number one. Hope you're enjoying it. Hey, also, if you know, if I'm blowing it out with the microphone. You let me know. I got to do Otherwise, 30 seconds to catch your breath. Give me this round. I'm going to grab my heavy weights. Ooh. I'm going to do three rounds today. So, we'll stick with this. Um, so, the way the quest format workouts, it's like almost every other day is sort of a workout. And then between those, we'll do this quest where I'll showcase you. 
12 more recovery stuff. But let's go. First minute of the second round. Three, one, go. So, with a much heavier weight, my flow combat's going to be a little bit closer and tighter. But you want my boxing. Not going to be able to do big flies. Uh oh, at least a good number of them with 30, 30 pounds. But I just need to still flow, punch you, because I get a little bit more on my legs. One, two more seconds. Again, uh, for me, this is like, like a warm-up. Heavy weights, throwing control. Working through that. Here we go. Heavy combat in three, two, one. I have such a small ceiling. So again, I'm going a little bit more traditional strength moves. More like robotic, linear. Here we go. Power combat, last one. Three, one. Well, with cleans in parallel. Three, two, one. Good. So, I'm going to risk it. We're going to do three rounds. Now I'm going to grab a weapon. weapon. So, I'm going to grab sword belt, um, but you can use a wooden gal, stick, I'll show you a bunch of things. But we're going to go through one more round uh, with a more like sort of weapon weapon. But again, it's just a heavy stick, so. Keep that flow with this small space. Um, maybe I'll use this moment because I just kind of mess around for a minute and a half to so talk a little bit more about what's coming next week. So, starting one day, I'm going to start a uh, campaign. 20 seconds. With that campaign, it'll be a story driven program. Uh, six weeks, 14, 16? Something like that weeks long. And here we go. Heavy taps. Three. One. <laughs> oh, might hear my kid. Um, with those, again, there'll be three kind of main workouts. Each week is a new quest. Objectives. We're gonna do checks, we're gonna do dexterity checks, strength checks, and con checks to those days. Follows recovery when you go, 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 roll out, go booster scores. I see there's comments. I'll get to you because we're about to go into power three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. All right. Well, when my kid's up, that's the timer at the end. So we didn't get to travel today, but we did an extra round of combat. Always oh, screaming, Batman. Yay, sword time. Uh oh. Thank you. Gotta sign off. Catch you on the next adventure.